Hey everybody, Jeff from Corrugated Cavalry here. Today I'm going to be doing a quick review of two wooden longswords from Purple Heart Armory, www.woodenswords.com. Um, links for these items will be in the description. Um, I have to say that I am not being paid for this review and they did not send these to me for review or anything. I bought them because I was getting started in HEMA and wanted a low cost option. So I'm going to start with just a couple of general impressions. Number one, I do think that these are a great option for when you're just getting started in HEMA and you want to do longsword. They have options for other weapons as well. Um, this costs $60. This is the school training longsword. It is well made. It is quote unquote impact grade hickory. I haven't done two person work with them yet, but I have a video about throwing swords. And since I don't have a, a steel sword at the moment, um, I did it with this, the school training longsword. And I threw it at my archery target and it hit the wooden table that I had it sitting on and stuff. And I had no fear of it breaking. And this is, this is after, so you can see that there's no damage done. Um, so it's quality, it's sturdy, and overall I really like it. Um, so now to get into some of the details of each blade. And, you know, a couple of small drawbacks as well. So both of these blades um, are an Okashot Type 17 blade, which uh, mostly describes length and cross-section. This actually has a hexagonal cross-section. It's a little hard to see, but there's like a flat spot on top and it comes to a point at the edges. Um, and that's kind of the trademark, or one of the trademarks of the Okashot Type 17 blade. Um, it also has a fuller, in this case, almost the entire length of the blade, which is not super common, but uh, hey, it looks cool, so I'm not really complaining. Um, <laughs> that fuller can also give you a sword wind sound if you have your edge alignment correct. You can kind of hear that a little bit. You can hear it much more if you're doing a full technique and really using your body and getting into the technique, but I'm in my garage and don't <laughs> quite have the room to swing it around with the camera in front of me. Um, so that fuller's great. The guard doesn't really meet where it should. However, you could take care of that very easily with a file or a rasp or um, a sandpaper and loss of patience, if that's, if that's your style. Um, but it comes with this rubber stopper to keep it in place, so it kind of doesn't matter. And I'll show you actually another advantage of that. Okay, so I've got that rubber band off. So what you can actually do is you can take this guard, wiggle it off, <laughs> And um, you can put it on over the handle. And what this allows you to do is, um, so now you can see it's pretty well met up with the blade. I did lose a little bit of guard space, but now you have something close to a bastard sword or hand and a half sword, or just a um, long sword with a slightly shorter grip. And that makes the um, blade to grip ratio a little bit different as well. So some of the other statistics, uh, once again, going with the Okashot typology, which is a typology for uh, classifying swords, basically. Um, the guard is a type one. The pommel is also a type one. Some might call this a fishtail shape, flat this way. Okay. The overall length of the school training long sword is 120 centimeters or 47 and a quarter of an inch. The blade length of the school training longsword is 90.5 centimeters, or 35 and 5 eighths of an inch. The balance point of this sword is 18 centimeters from the guard block, or 7.5 inches. Oh, oh, I had it before, I swear. <laughs> um, and the weight is 0.79 kilos, or 1 pound 11 ounces. Um, so how does this compare to a historical sword? Um, I actually made a spreadsheet of the lengths and uh, other statistics like weight and if it had a balance point of uh, various long swords as well as one-handed swords in the Walls collection online. So they have a great collection of arms and armor and they have almost all of their items up online with the statistics. So of course I had to nerd out a little bit and put in a little extra time to find uh, the average historical longsword blade length and um, weight and all of that, at least by the Wallace collection. So this blade length is a bit short. 
Um, the average for historical longswords, at least in the Wallace collection, is a 101.24 centimeter blade. Um, the only balance point given was 10.8 centimeters from the guard block, so that's a kind of significant um, difference. But it being a little further out just means that it's a little bit more blade heavy out here. Good for chopping. Um, I, I don't really have enough information to say whether that's historically accurate or not. It's certainly not crazy far off. And the weight is about half of a real steel historical longsword, which I think makes sense. This is made out of hickory, and they don't want to make it this beefy thing just to get to weight. So yes, it is lighter than a historical real longsword, but I think that's a pretty minor gripe for a wooden practice sword. So school training longsword, $60 on Purple Heart Armory. Let's move to the um, L2 longsword. This is the L2 longsword. It's a little bit nicer. Um, once again, impact grade hickory. Um, once again, an Okashop Type 17 blade. It's got the hexagonal cross section. It's a little hard to see with a wooden sword, but it does have a flat spot on top and it comes to an edge after that. Um, the guard is an Okashop Type 6 and the pommel. Uh, people would call this maybe a scent stopper or perhaps a pear-shaped pommel, but it's a non-faceted um, scent stopper. So I, I can't totally tell. It's either a Type 3 or a Type 5 Okashop pommel. <laughs> it's, it's one of those. Um, okay, so some statistics. Uh, first of all, this one costs $74 on Purple Heart Armory. So it's a little more expensive, but uh, you get the nice guard and the nicer pommel, and the guard is met with the grip and the blade correctly and it has a pin in there and the overall blade the overall length sorry not the overall blade length the overall length is 120.2 centimeters and um, that's 47 and 5 sixteenths of an inch the blade length is 91.2 centimeters or 35 and 7 eighths of an inch the balance point is 20.5 centimeters from the guard block, so even just a little further out um, than the school training longsword. As you can kind of tell, um, the tip is more broad than the school long than the school training longsword. So I'm guessing that has something to do with um, throwing the balance point out a little bit further. Not a big deal. Um, and the overall weight is 0.81 kilograms, or one pound. 13 ounces, so a little heavier than the school training longsword, but not by much, and still around half the weight of a historical example. Um, I will say that, you know, having this uh, nicer looking cross guard, just sometimes I just enjoy using it a little bit more <laughs> because of that. Um, and I definitely much prefer this style of pommel for my bottom hand if I want to choke down here. It's much more comfortable. You get that whole seating and locking in around the pinky. I much prefer that. Um, not that the other pommel's bad by any means. Um, so this is the L2. There's also a um, version with a cherry guard and pommel, if that's something that you're into. Uh, my overall impression is that these are really good tools if you're just getting into HEMA and you don't have six or 700 bucks to spend on sparring gear and a steel sparring fetter and all of that. If you just want to get started with longsword and they have other weapons available as well. Uh, 60 bucks, some shipping. Maybe if you have a friend that wants to get into it, you can you know combine your order and save a little bit on shipping costs um, and find the manuals online find some videos, find an instructor once all of this COVID madness is uh, over with. And I think that's a really good way to get into it personally. Um, you don't see a lot of people doing it online, but um, when I did Japanese sword when I was a teenager, you know, that's what that's what we did. We used wooden swords, we used both gun, of course, and I was just used to that. So it made sense to me. Um, so I think these are a really great tool for an entry point. Yes. If you compare it to a real historical longsword, the, the blade length is a little shorter. Of course it's lighter, and maybe the balance point is a little bit off. But overall, I think that these are a really great training tool. Um, 
And like I said, I'm not paid by Purple Heart Armory or anything, so um, if you want to get into Hema and save a little bit of money, it's a good way to go, I think. Very soon I'll be doing a review of this set here. Um, this is a one-handed or arming sword from Purple Heart Armory as well. Very nice, got the cherry cross guard and pommel. And uh, a buckler, this is actually made by Cold Steel, not Purple Heart Armory, but I did order it from Purple Heart Armory. So I'm going to review these as a weapon set as I start um, my journey training uh, sword and buckler as well. So be on the lookout for that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and coming by the channel. If you liked this, click like and subscribe, hopefully. And if you know anybody that might be interested in this or who might find it useful, please share it with them. Grow the community. Um, thank you guys so much for stopping by, like I said, and be good to each other. See ya.